Modern astronomical physics has advanced exponentially in the last 100 years. We are able to verify and make more accurate claims about our universe that were impossible to contemplate before. Such as we are able to understand that our universe does have a beginning and that the universe is not static or unchanging, but that it is constantly expanding at a speed that we cannot grasp. The faith of the universe is such that it will end at some point as well. How that ending is proclaimed in contemporary physics is eerily precise with the descriptions found in the Quran. A book of guidance for people, but also a book of signs for those who use reason, reflection, and thought. Physicists had laid out various means on how the doomsday will happen. And one such recent explanation is now established with the discovery of the Higgs boson. On September 10, 2008, a $10 billion project named the Large Hadron Collider, which was a man-made particle accelerator that theoretically had enough power to create a small black hole, was constructed to understand what matter is composed of in its most fundamental basic levels. This grand machine was designed to collide particles at a speed close to the speed of light for physicists to observe how particles behave when they collide and what they're composed of in concrete terms. The Large Hadron Collider essentially proved the Higgs boson theory correct, which was a monumental moment in human discovery. As before, Physicists could not explain how subatomic particles such as an electron, neutrons, protons inside atoms give weight or mass to atoms. The Higgs field essentially behaves as a molasses around all subatomic particles such as an electron. And when this electron travels around its own path, the resistance from the Higgs field is what gives electrons its mass. The Higgs boson, when it was further studied by prominent physicists like Stephen Hawking, it was found that although the Higgs field is currently stable at about 126 billion electron volts, its stability will not last. This is because the smallest variant in the field can cause catastrophic change in all matter. Any potential quantum fluctuation or change in energy could trigger a process called quantum tunneling which would change the arrangement of mass made in the Higgs field, thus making the universe become unstable as it cannot account for any mass except for the most basic elements like hydrogen. In simple terms, this means the universe can go through something like of a catastrophic vacuum decay that can destroy everything in its path at the speed of light as matter in its fundamental form would change. The Quran eerily provides glimpse into this phenomenon with the following verse. The striking disaster. What is the striking disaster? And what will make you realize what the striking disaster is? It is a day people will be like scattered moths, and the mountains will be like carded wool. Surah al qariya verses 1 to 5. We're talking about the end of all life as we know it. First is going to be mass panic. And life will seriously begin to suffer. Humans, because we have an audacity to us, will try and hold on as long as possible. At that point, all intelligent life in the universe must die. The laws of physics are a death warrant to all intelligent life. Everything has crumbled. Not just the sands and monuments to man's folly, but even the atoms themselves have begun to crumble. The state of humans in these verses show that a striking calamity will hit everyone and everything in such a devastating way that Allah is emphasizing on the word karya or disaster. And human beings will be in an utter state of confusion as fear is so extreme and overwhelming that they will run into one another in a state of pure panic. 
the confusion is also indicative of the sudden change in the very reality that humans live in, which they will be able to feel within their own bodies as well. And mountains will be like carded wool, and some translations say that they will be like fluffed wool. All the scenario sounds a lot like major mass loss from the original state of things. As contrary to our reality where mountains are grand heavy structures, on that day, suddenly, because of the striking disaster, they will evaporate or disintegrate into strings of wool, light in weight. A type of cosmic metamorphous change, where the very nature of reality will change, as the fabric of matter or Higgs field will be fluctuating our reality as we know it in a quite devastating way. Physicists doesn't think such a disaster will occur for billions of years, and even if such a vacuum decay has already begun in very distant part of the universe, it will not reach us right away as our universe is expanding at a faster rate. However, they do admit that at some point intelligent life as we know it will come to a grand disastrous end in one method or another. Even though the Higgs boson is an important novel discovery, it does not account for gravity, which is an essential law that holds the whole universe together and allows for solar systems and orbits to take place with precision. Another means in how the universe will end is with the big crunch scenario. Although the crunch type scenario is expected when the universe eventually demises, the onset of it will be caused by something known as the Big Rip. The Big Rip is speculated to occur when the expansion rate of the universe keeps growing faster exponentially because of the dominance of dark matter, which will cause the very fabric of the universe to rip apart and descend towards its original point of the Big Bang. To put it simply, physicists believe because the universe will have expanded so fast, so quickly, that a tear or a rip would occur, triggering the beginning of the universe's demise. Our solar system will get ripped apart, and then stars and planets will get ripped apart. So, when the stars are put out, and the sky is torn apart, Surah Al-Mursalat, verse Eight to nine. This sudden crumbling of the universe will cause faster contractions that will lead to the very fabric of space and time to be torn apart, opening up black holes or portals to other dimensions. This terrifying scenario is mentioned in the Quran. The sky will be split open, becoming many gates. Surah al naba verse 19. Furthermore, the weak and frail space-time fabric is also mentioned in the following verse. The heavens will split asunder, for on that day it will be frail. Surah Al-Hakka verse 16 Thus, just like the laws of gravity of what goes up must come down, it seems our universe will share the same fate as a big rip would cause the universe to collapse back into the singularity of an infinitely small point, like a proton. Physicists also speculate that based on this scenario, it is only natural to assert that a new universe would be scraped together from our universe, just like how it was first created with the Big Bang. This is eerily similar to what Allah says, On that day we will roll up the heavens like scrolls of writing. Just as we produced the first creation, so shall we reproduce it. That is a promise binding on us, and we truly uphold our promises. Surah Anbaya, verse 104. From this verse, we learn that the universe will be scrolled up like squirrels of writing. An interesting fact should be mentioned here, as now we know due to many sophisticated cosmological data collection, the universe is indeed flat like a sheet of paper. If you add together sort of the three kinds of things that occupy the universe. The familiar matter, that's what we're made of and what our telescopes detect. The dark matter, that's the source of 85% of all the gravity we see in the universe and we don't know what's causing it. And the dark energy, 
the stuff that's making us accelerate. Each one of those components creates a curvature of the fabric of space and time, just as prescribed by Einstein's general theory of relativity. If you add those curvatures together, what you find is that they create a universe that is perfectly flat. The flatness is more in terms of four-dimensional view of our three-dimensional universe. So, the notion placed forth by Allah that the universe will be scrolled up is not an obscure concept at all. And just like how it was created, Allah plans to recreate a new universe that is quite familiar to our universe, but is quite different in its arrangements. On that day, when the earth will be changed to other than this earth, and the heavens also. Surah Ibrahim verse 48 And if they ask you, O Prophet, about the mountains, then say, My Lord will wipe them out completely, leaving the earth level and bare, with neither depressions nor elevations to be seen. Surah Taha verse 105 to 107 Now going back slightly, back to the scenario of the universe being scrolled up, it can also be assumed that the squirreling nature is such that when the eventual openings take place of the squirrels, the reverse effect occurs. It is not far-fetched to assert that time will be reversed as space-time are interlinked. But unlike space, time is an elusive mystery of the universe. But surprising new clues are emerging that everything, you and I and even space itself, may actually be kind of hologram. That is, everything we see and experience, everything we call our familiar three-dimensional reality, may be a projection of information that's stored on a thin, distant, two-dimensional surface. No one really knows what time really is. Albert Einstein said time is the thing that we measure with the clock. Time passes slowly at high speeds and stops altogether at the speed of light. What we do understand from our physical universe is that time is linear and moves straight towards the future. In our universe, the concept of time does not allow that we are able to see things go backwards, such as a broken glass being reversed to be unbroken. Physicists like Michael Burt, Thomas Gold, and Stephen Hawking have proposed that time may reverse when the universe starts contracting. The contraction of the universe is a reality that will occur one day in preparation for the recycling of our universe. Putting everything into perspective, that is when time will reverse. Keeping such astrophysical possibilities in mind, it is not at all bizarre to assume how the dead will be resurrected from their earthly graves and become alive once again. In such, every event will happen again as everything is recorded in time, thus paving the way for absolute justice to begin in that severe day of resurrection. On that day, everything that occurred from the ending to the beginning will be revived for us to relinquish. Unfortunately, even with such vivid portrayal, many people will continue to believe the Day of Reckoning is only an imaginary event, and that after we die, we cannot be resurrected. In the age of old, people who believed in the hour believed in it as a matter of pure faith. But now, in the 21st century, such beliefs are not only plausible based on astrophysicists' assertions, but it also seems that with more examination and verifiable theories put forth, it seems evident the message portrayed in the Quran is a powerful truth that upholds credibility and certainty. <laughs>